I don't know if I'm going to post this video. Day always has it figured out. You know, people always tell me that, like, oh, day, you always have it figured out. Like, you know, you you know what you're doing. Um, but I don't always do. This is probably the first unscripted video that I'm doing in a very long time. Very long time, maybe in a couple of months. But recent, recently, or generally, most of my videos have been scripted or are, are typically scripted. But this was just kind of, I guess, impromptu. By the way, right now, I'm actually in New York. It's currently the 14th of June. It's a Wednesday. And um, I'm in New York right now for work this week. It's a really nice hotel I'm in. Really nice views. And literally, my company's office is literally on the other side of the road. Like, the building right there is literally where I work. And... Yeah, so convenient. I could literally just go downstairs and walk across the street and basically I'm at work. Yeah, right now it's like 11.50 and I've just been pondering about a lot of things recently. And recently I mean I mean like over the last couple of weeks about where I'm at right now, career-wise, and just in life in general. It's not like a midlife crisis kind of thing. It's more of a, you know, just... A thought just comes to your mind and it just keeps, you know, going on, going on and on in your head. And I think it's it's a combination of multiple things. But I think the very first thing is, like, I think I might have gotten distracted. And it's kind of hard for me to get, for me to come to the point where I'm actually admitting that. Because I like to think of myself as someone who is very, very, very planned. I plan a lot. I'm very, you know, organized. I put a lot of attention to you know, very small details in life in general, but also like in my career. Uh, this is probably where or some of some of the um, distractions I, I feel like might have come from. But yeah, I feel like I have gotten distracted. I have sort of let, you know, various things just like derail me, maybe temporarily, not for a bad reason, maybe for a bad, I don't know. But I might have listened to certain things just like derail me from my end goal. And I also think that I might have also just been scared of my end goal to the point where I I deliberately let the distractions, you know, just flow, right? So for context, career-wise, I have an end goal of wanting to become a staff security engineer on or before I'm 30. Right now I'm 21, so I have about nine years to get to that point. And, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of things to figure out between now and then. And I'm also right now at a very entry level stage in my career. So I'm about three years in my career. By September of this year, I would be, ha I would have been working in the field for about three years. So by the time I'm 30, I would have been working in the field for about 12 years. So I think it's a bit ambitious, but it's a goal of mine. Even though I've, I want to get to that point, I've never really, it's, I think it's one thing I've never really sat down to plan specifically because again it's like how do you get to a technique a, a, it's technically uncharted you know for someone like myself but I mean, there's a lot to figure out but back to the piece of distractions i just i feel like i've let a lot of distractions like you know recently just take my mind off that end goal and sort of ignore it because you know it started in my head started becoming maybe a little bit too big or maybe insurmountable that i just like let the distractions just come and not deal with them. And in terms of distractions, actually things that don't necessarily contribute to my end goal. And for I, I want to, I want I don't want to be cryptic about what I'm saying. I want to be a lot more specific because I don't want it to seem like, oh, maybe there's other things going on in life. Like you know, there's nothing like that. It's more so like doing things that don't necessarily contribute to that have no sort of place in it. So like one thing, one one major thing is like like YouTube, for example, right? YouTube is great. Making content is great. I love being a content creator. I just love the impact that it has. And also, like, you know, the avenue for representation for people like myself. But sometimes it does feel like a distraction. There's a lot of time, effort, even financial resources that goes into becoming, being a content creator and, you know, being very, being decent enough at it and making, doing it well enough that it's sustainable, right? But sometimes it feels like a distraction. It feels like I am contributing to other people's careers, lives, journeys more than my own by constantly 
putting a lot of pressure on my time to make content uh, to help people. And I, I, I love helping people, um, you know, like that's the whole point of wanting to have a channel where I'm sharing my journey and also sharing resources and my experience. But sometimes it feels like, you know, I'm putting other people first. And again, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I do think when it gets to a point where I am sort of just like neglecting my own personal goals, it starts to become a problem. And it's, it's always a weird dilemma with content because it's like, well, I, I can't necessarily really go wrong with making content in the sense that, you know, I get more exposure, right? It helps me personally. I mean, my channel is profitable. I make money from YouTube, but I, I've never, I've been making money for YouTube for like three years. It's not anything substantial, but I've never touched that money. All that money goes back into the channel. So whether paying editor or paying for software or, or buying equipment, like camera equipment for quality videos is very expensive. So I, I've never spent a dime that I've made from YouTube on myself, even though I could have, like, if I took some money from YouTube to pay like my some of my bills or like some other things, like I'll be it'll be great. But I've deliberately always put that money like it has a, its own separate account specifically because I, I never touch that money and I want to put it back into the content. But not to go from tangent, like I was saying, like I just you know don't know if it's sustainable for the level I want to get to, at least for myself. And also com combining that with, you know, multiple other things that I do, right? And it's like, again, like, the main goal is like, you know, I want to become a staff engineer, you know, in the next nine years. I might be overthinking a lot of things, right? Like, it's all over the place. I'm all over the place. But it's like, I could solely focus on the things that I know are going to get me there, right? Which is like, technical skill, problem solving, problem ident identification, and impact. And there are mul multiple things that are sort of like attributed to all these different things, um, you know, you know, beyond just like technical skills, like impact. And some part of impact might be like relationship management, stakeholder management, something I learned about recently. And, you know, just being able to do things at such a large scale. So like even scaling your work, right? Because like you could do work that's great. You could, you know, put something, you can enable something like technically, right, that it's insecurity, that is great, but at what scale? How well does it scale? <sighs> so it's like, there's so many pieces to figure out, you know, to get to that point. So it's like, I could really solely focus all of my energy into getting there, which would mean like I have to sort of maybe neglect other things like make, making content. Right now, I'm currently working on a LinkedIn learning course. I'm going to be flying out to California next week to go record that. And that's taken a lot of time and effort to, you know, to work on, right? Like, it's great because, I mean, they just, they just pay me for it. I mean, personally, I feel like I should have paid more. But in, in general, like, it, it just, it, it, t it took a lot of time and effort. I could have probably spent on maybe my own, on my own personal development. But again, it's like, I just have this, I always have this desire to want to give back you know, either by teaching people skills, because like the, the course I'm making, it's, it's a course for a very specific skill set that's not readily available out there, right? It's not like, it, it's not like you can't find information about, information about it. It's more so that you, you have, it, it's I, I, the way I laid out the course, I'm teaching you very specific things, right? Especially at the beginner level in terms of like cloud security, cloud threat analysis specifically. But what I'm trying to get at specifically is the fact that I don't know. I, I I think I just got. I think I'm distracted. I'm, I I might also be like weighing over my head in the sense that you know, like I guess it's it's one of two things. It, I might be I might be distracted in the sense that I should be focusing on my goal to become a staff engineer by the time I'm 30. Right. Again, I don't know if that's ambitious. I don't know if that's you know prudent. But that's one that's one side of it. Like I sh like that if I really truly want to achieve this goal, like I should dedicate myself to that, right? And again, it's like I want to get there because because I'm, I'm not, I don't I don't just have this goal arbitrarily. Like it's not like oh it's like a it's not a goal without reason. It's more of a goal that one I'm very ambitious. Two, I you know I think I started my career early enough. And I want to be at a place 
by that you know age where I have spent enough time building a technical career before maybe going into management or people management, right? I want to really spend my time like digging deep into my field. So, and also like I haven't not met many black staff security engineers, which again, it's like I I personally, you know, tend to not want to play the race thing or speak much to race. But in that regards, it's definitely an uncharted path because it's like, okay, like who do I see that has done it? Who can I, who can I look up to that has done it? What can I learn from them in their journey? Because as much as some might think it's, you know, not different from any other person, it's very different. We, as much as there is a lot of effort for diversity, equity, and inclusion, we all have different experiences in general, especially like getting into certain levels or certain, certain peaks or certain like, you know, certain places in life. So in, in that regard, it's, it's definitely an uncharted path for me. So it's like, there's a lot of reasons to want to get there. So it's, there's no, there's, I don't think in, in that regards, there's nothing wrong with that. But on the other side of it, it's also the point of, like, what if, what's what, what 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 if there's really no point in that, right? What if, what if I could just like, you know, just keep doing everything I'm doing, like you know, making content at the same pace I am? What if content blows up? What if I become like a big YouTuber or something? You know, just kidding. But yeah, so I'm, I th- I think I'm at the point where I don't know if I'm distracted or I don't know if I just need to figure out what is important. Like is being is becoming a staff engineer important enough as to where I have to give everything up to get there at the pace and at within the time frame I want to get there versus could I just like keep doing everything else I'm doing because like there's also the compound effect of everything else I'm doing right whether it's content whether it's like community or that's like making courses there's that compound effect that would eventually yield results even in that time frame right but and there's other things I want to do, like, you know, I want to get into, like, you know, investing in real estate, maybe even investing in businesses. But it's like, I can't, I don't know if I, I, I don't think it's possible to humanly do everything, right? Some might think, oh, if anyone could do all of that, it would probably be me, but I'm not superhuman. And I want to live life in a sustainable way. Like, I'm not, as much as I, I'm, I guess I would consider myself hardworking, I'm also not just like out of touch with with the reality of like actually living in existence. Like I would grind, like I would like freaking, you know, bust my behind to get work done, to get to where I need to go, but I'm not gonna lose touch with reality and existing because of I don't know, like a level. What if it's, what if what if becoming a staff engineer is just a level? Yeah. What if what if that's the case? What if it's not? What if it's what if it's something that I need to do? What if what if it's like something like what if it's something that I actually what if I have to what if what if I what if I am made to actually eventually get to a staff become a staff engineer? You know, it's just weird. I don't even know I don't even know if I'm gonna post this video. I don't know I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna post this video. Like at this point. Because I don't know if you guys are gonna watch it. Like just watch me like just ramble and just like spit out my thoughts. But yeah, it's like I I don't know. I guess I'm I'm just in a place where it's kind of weird. I think part of it is just also like you know I'm I'm a Christian and I believe in God and I feel like all all my life up until now I always know my next move. I always know what I'm supposed to be doing next. Like I always have it planned out. Like I'm I like I always have it figured out and I always know what to do to get to where I need to be. But I feel like I'm also in a place in life where God is just like, you're going to have to rely on me for that now. And it kind of feels weird that I'm no longer in control of that. It's like, you know, having always having the control of like what, you, what you're going to do next and knowing what that plan is. And then get to a point where it's like, I have a plan, but it's, I don't know. I don't know about that plan. And, you know, there's there's a God out there who is like, yeah. You have a plan, but my plan is different. 
and you're just going to have to trust me. It's, it's different. And I think that's where I'm at. And I guess that's just what's going to be. But yeah, I just want to put it out there. I just want to put it out there. I don't think I've talked to anyone about it. It's just been, I've just been pondering it, right? Things always look perfect on, on the outside. Like they, they, they always has it figured out. You know, people always tell me that like, oh, they, you always have it figured out. Like, you know, you you know what you're doing. Um, but I don't always do. Half the time I don't, right? I just always have a plan and I just follow the plan. But now that I even, I doubt my plan. I've never doubted my plans before. I'm doubting my plans. So yeah. I guess we're just going to have to see. We just have to see what happens. But just in case, like, you know, I'm not making content as much or, you know, I don't know, just in case you don't see much content anymore or you don't see some content for a while, it might just be me taking a break to just rethink a lot of things. All right. But yeah, I appreciate it. If you watched this far, like if you got to this point in the video, I appreciate you watching. And yeah, I guess stay tuned for future next adventures of day whatever it is i might i mean i mean again i might post this video and then just keep going on my regularly scheduled plans for like video posting and then, you know without any changes we'll see but yeah if you watch the, if you got to this far in the video thanks for watching um thanks for your support uh if you like to subscribe no pressure uh it'll be great to like the video and uh, yeah i guess i'll see you in the next video bye bye